Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, we're going to be adding an ending screen or a game over screen to our game in Pygame. So last time, we added this beautiful intro screen. Uh, it just has a title, you can hit a button, a play button, then you get put straight into the game. We have some enemies and we can collide with them. But when we collide with the enemies, when we die, the game just exits like that. But what we want instead is we want a game over screen where it says like game over, there's a button where you can restart or you can quit. So that's what we're going to be adding today. Now, we actually do have a method called game over, but there's nothing in it, it's just a pass method. After the main method, we do actually call it down here. So what we want to do is that the game over function is going to be called once the self.playing loop has finished, because then we'll get out of the self.playing loop and we'll move on to the game over loop. But we actually want to remove this self.running equals false because um, we still want the game to be running on the game over screen, but we just have stopped playing. And if, if you remember, when we collide with an enemy, uh, we just set the playing to false. Once we collide, we're going to be breaking out of this game loop and we'll be moving on to the game over loop. So first things first, we're going to need some text that says game over. We're also going to need a restart button. So what we can do is we can just do text equals self.font.render and we can have game over and we want anti-aliasing to be true and we want the color to be white. Now if you remember self.font at the top here, it's just a Pygame font with a size of 32 and the uh, font is Arial. We've got our text, we need to have the text rect, and that can just be uh, text.get underscore rect. So that'll just get the rectangle from the text object. Then we'll also want a restart button, and it's going to be a button. Remember last episode we created our button class at the very bottom of this very long file. Uh, yeah, we've got this button class. Uh, so it's going to be a button. We're going to need the X, Y, width, height, foreground color, background color, the content, and the font size. So the X is going to be at position 10. The uh, the Y is going to be uh, win height uh, minus 60. These are just some numbers that I've thought of before I started the video. The width is going to be 120, height is going to be 50. Uh, the foreground color is going to be white, the background color is going to be black. Uh, the content is so the text itself on the button is going to be restart and the font size can just be 32. Now I forgot to actually pass in an argument in the get rect here uh, but basically we just want to center it and it's going to be centered on uh, win underscore width over 2 and win underscore height over 2. So that'll basically just center the text in the middle of the screen. So what we want to do now is we want to remove everything from the screen basically all the sprites from the screen. So for sprite in self.all sprites, we just want to kill the sprite. So that will leave us with an empty black screen. Now we're also going to need to create a um, an event loop because we currently don't have one. While self.running, we'll do for event in pygame.event.get and then if event.type equals pygame.quit in all caps, uh, we'll do self.running equals false. And once self.running is false, we'll just do pygame.quit and sys.exit. So that'll just quit the application. So while we're still running, we need to get the mouse position. So we want to check if we're going to click the button, basically. So we'll need the mouse position as well as whether we've pressed the mouse or not. So pygame.mouse.get underscore pause. And mouse underscore pressed equals pygame.mouse.get underscore pressed. So if restart button dot is underscore pressed and we'll need to pass in the mouse pause and the um, mouse pressed remember this is pressed method is a custom method that we wrote and it basically just checks it'll return true if we have pressed the button but it'll return false if we haven't pressed the button so if we have pressed the button uh, we'll run self.new and we'll run self.main so that'll basically just start up a new game and from there, we'll just need to display everything onto the screen. So uh, self.screen.blit, over background. Now, if you come into your project directory and under the IMG folder, uh, there should be gameover.png. 
And I don't think we've defined it up here. No, we have our, we have our intro background, but we need self.go underscore background. And it can just be pygame.image.load.slash uh, img slash uh, it was gameover.png. I think it was gameover.png. Uh, yeah, gameover.png. So we want to display the game over background. And where do we want to display it? Well, we want to display it at uh, 0, 0. So just in the top left corner of the screen. We want to blitz the text. Where do we want to display it? We want to display it at the text rectangle. So text rect. And self.screen.blit. Uh, we'll want to display the restart button. So restart button dot image. And where do we want to display it? Well, we want to display it on the restart button dot rect. And then we'll do self.clock.tick FPS pygame.display.update. That'll just set the FPS and update the screen. So now that we've done that, we should get ourselves a game over screen. So if we hit the play button and then we walk into one of the enemies, we get our game over screen. I know it doesn't look very good. Um, as I've said before, I'm not a graphic designer, um, but there we go. And if we hit the restart button, a new game will start and we can just keep on walking into enemies, but then if we hit the exit button, we quit out. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will get back to you. In the next video, we're going to be adding a text to our game, so be sure to stick around for that. If you'd like to see what the best IDs and text editors for Python are, then you can click on this video, then you can click on this video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.